the mysterious connections between the physical world and mathematics run deep. We all know the number pi from geometry, the ratio between the circumference of a circle and its diameter, and that its decimal digits go on forever without a repeating pattern. As of 2013, it had been calculated out to 12.1 trillion digits. But somehow pi is a whole lot more. Pi appears in a whole host of other phenomena which have, at least on the face of it, nothing to do with circles or anything. In particular, it appears in probability theory quite a bit. Suppose I take this needle, so that the length of the needle is equal to the distance between two lines on this piece of paper. And suppose I drop this needle now on the paper. Sometimes when you drop the needle, it will cut a line. And sometimes it drops between the lines. It turns out the probability that the needle lands so it cuts a line is exactly 2 over pi, or about 64%. Now, what that means is that, in principle, I could drop this needle millions of times. I could count the times when it crosses a line and when it doesn't cross a line. And I could actually even calculate pi, even though there are no circles here, no diameters of a circle, nothing like that. It's really amazing. Since pi relates a round object, a circle, with a straight one, its diameter, it can show up in the strangest of places. Some see it in the meandering path of rivers, a river's actual length as it winds its way from its source to its mouth compared to the direct distance, on average seems to be about pi. Models for just about anything involving waves will have pi in them like those for light and sound. Pi tells us which colors should appear in a rainbow and how middle C should sound on a piano. Pi shows up in apples, in the way cells grow into spherical shapes, or in the brightness of a supernova. One writer has suggested it's like seeing Pi on a series of mountain peaks poking out of a fog-shrouded valley. We know there is a way they're all connected, but it's not always obvious how. 